I was a part of a women's business coaching group. And we were together to realize our vision in business. And so one day this woman came to me and she said, I have someone for you to meet. And because I trusted her, I said, absolutely. And so I had an interview with a shaman, which of course is so opposite of what I thought business was about. But I realized what, what my coach wanted for me was for me to have a bigger vision for myself and for my business and to really look beyond image, which is what I was dealing with. My background is I'm trained in, at Bloomingdale's in New York, right? You can't get more involved in image and fashion and I loved it. But I felt it was a bigger piece, a bigger conversation to be had. So one of the speakers that is gonna be talking after me is Brandy Alessandra. And in fact, I hired Brandy because we wanted to create a larger conversation. And we created what we call the true beauty movement. And, you know, we are spiritual beings having a human experience. In fact, right now I'm in a coaching program with the University of Santa Monica in spiritual coaching, spiritual psychology, because I realized that at, in my on the plant medicines that I felt so united, you know, with the universe, I felt so at one. And it gave me great insight into myself and my life and healing patterns and uh, the psychology of who I thought I was and who I really was and, and just having a bigger connection. And I always trusted Mother Nature. It's interesting. I grew up in Minnesota, uh, up in Hibbing, in the in the wilds up there. And, uh, you know, we would walk to school at in 30 degrees below zero. And uh, so I had a great appreciation for Mother Nature. And I knew that she was in charge of this planet. And I knew that if I tuned into her, like what was that attunement and what was the alignment and the plant medicines? I remember being on a journey once and the plant. I said, "What do I? What is it? Do, what is my message?" I know that that colors is about alignment. I know when I wear my colors, I feel good about myself. I know that I'm seen for the authenticity of who I am. I know there's a psychology to color. I know I can create an impression. Like today I'm wearing the beading is my eye color, which is the mirror of the soul. I'm wearing the purple, which is my support color. So I'm being a, a responsible human being, but what's the bigger message? And it was, so the plant medicine, uh, the mother plant spoke to me and said, you know, that the, the message is that there's an essence that's fundamental to who we are, that's fundamental to our nature. It's a light energy that emanates through, through each human being. And that's your message. It's the essence piece. It's the connection. It's getting away from this, this idea that we have any, any alienation at all as a human being on this planet. We are all at every single moment tied to mother nature and the grandeur of the universe. And so that's what my presentation is about. It's about the sacred geometry that is designed in our body. And it's about the human essence that lives as a light energy through us. And it takes the alignment and the courage to be ourself, right? I can't dress as someone else and say I'm authentic. And so it's the, the macrocosm of this uh, universal love, this universal consciousness, and this consciousness lives in our body. Who would have thought, right, that to get up every, every morning and get dressed had that much of a significance? So I'd like to start my, my presentation and my slideshow and just show you what I've learned and share it with you. So you'll notice that um, I'm wearing the purple and I'm gonna share the bigger screen with you. And I'd like you to notice the horizontal design of my bangs and the horizontal design of that print I'm wearing. Like who would have known that the print design needs to mirror the geometry of your face? That's the sacred geometry we're gonna learn. So um, the plant medicine brought me pr my profession it brought me my life's work. Um, at the time I was uh, living in an ashram, uh, my relationship had fallen apart and I wanted to find um, a bigger bigger life purpose for myself. And that all came through the plants. So they're the one that have that wisdom for us. So in the next slide, we're gonna be talking about, um, oh, we have, I've been suffering from back pain. Okay, so let's see with this one. So it's like, uh, what is your season? That's the light energy and what inspired you to join us today? Like, what did you wanna learn about yourself? So, um, so I'm Jennifer Butler and I'm wearing my support color and the design that mirrors the geometry of my body today. And so I look in alignment with myself. 
So I've been a color specialist for over 35 years, and I've worked with so many people, public figures, celebrities, Fortune 500 executives, and individuals who want to be seen and heard. And many of us don't realize that communication is 90% nonverbal, and the essence of our soul lives through Mother Nature. So the very core, the foundation of we are, that energy comes from Mother Nature, comes from the universe and lives through us. So the universe has created us in a physical form, and all human beings carry the DNA of the cosmic energy. This is represented through light and color, and Mother Nature is infused in a person's energy. So these are the colors that you're seeing that match Mother Nature. The beginning of this was matching a flower to someone's face. And you can see her skin tone and her lips and around her eyes match the flowers. That's how this work began, by right? matching Mother Nature. So when you recognize your design, it's life-changing. You understand the larger cosmic consciousness. You recognize that your essence is connected to the universe. You understand the universe has created your sacred coloring and design. When we dress in our native frequency, we empower, balance, and harmonize. Our power is true, is to tune into and be aligned, and the authenticity of our life force magically attracts others to us, to you. So what happens when you learn this information about the sacred de uh, geometry and the design? You're going to save time and money. You're going to let go of who you think you should be. You're going to learn to let go of what doesn't work for you. You're going to make informed personal and home style choices. You're going to be able to turbocharge your personal brand, and you're going to know what works and play. So a little bit about me. We're going to learn about essence. We're going to explore the design as a powerful communication tool. We're going to review the seven principles of design that come from the sacred geometry that the universe has given us to be ourselves, and we're going to have an opportunity to learn more. So these are people who've used their color and design, and you can see how the red that she's wearing is very powerful and how it matches them and it matches the essence of who they are. Kimberly has been a client for a while. Sheila Kelly has also been a client. You see very, very... A uh, very simple design, and again, her red tone, which is the passion of her work, is in the title of her company. And now we have Linda Gray, a very special friend and client. She's wearing her skin tone. Remember, the skin tone creates intimacy with the universe, intimacy, self-love, empowerment. And you can see how it, she's directly related to na nature in her coloring and the way that she brands herself and in her book. Here's uh, Byron Katie, who's also had the privilege of, I've had the privilege of working with her. You'll see there's a softness in what she's wearing. The diffused background matches her energy. She's matched Mother Nature. She's wearing the taupe color of her hair. Remember, the hair is the grounding color. Mark Victor Hansen, look at his energy. He's like the, the sunlight energy, and he's very powerful. And notice the angle of his shirt is matching the angle of his jawline. He's wearing his shade of red. It's in the title of his book. Everything is about empowerment and relationship. And you're totally engaged with him and his energy. So, and here's Marl Henry, totally opposite, right? The softness again of what she's wearing, the diffuse background that Mother Nature has given her and her energy. You'll notice even her hat matches her hair color. So it's always about matching yourself to the, the form that the universe has already given you. Uh, Nestle was a good client. I worked with their sales team. And one of the things we worked on is how to dress in a way that was relational. So much of, much of us, we learn about power dressing. What about dressing in a way that's relational to ourselves and others? With Penske, again, I worked for their sales team um, about sales and cars and personality and the personality of the person and the car and how to match it up. So a person represented their authenticity in every facet of their life. And uh, David Hill, a great client, uh, one of the heads of, of uh, Fox Sport. And here you see him looking great. And here you see him looking fantastic, right? All of his personality comes alive because he's dressing his energy that Mother Nature gave him. The psychology of color. Look at all of these color stories that we have. Whole Foods, green is the source of life, and they've used it. Uh, the Chopra Center, the symbol of life, right? The form of life. Um, and then the passive 
color that quiets the mind and the soul. And then MasterCard and McDonald's, using the warm and cool colors that everybody can relate to and the forms that come from Mother Nature, right? The circle, which is the completion and the, the pointed star of McDonald's, the pointing to the heavens and Google using every color. And you can see in my logo, right? All of those are my colors that I wear on a daily basis. And you can see it's a total expression of who I am. So what you see is what you get. So now we're gonna apply the psychology of design and marketing to ourselves, right? Everybody listening to this has an important message. They have an important life purpose. So how do we deliver that with integrity? And that's what we're gonna show you today. So this is my story. I was born in Minneapolis, Minnesota. I have five brothers as an only girl. And my mother, to get us through college, started the Calico Cat uh, when I was 11 years old. And I got to work in the fabric store. And this is where I started my color and design training. And here I am. One of the things we learn is we dress by uh, our attraction and we're attracted to the opposite. So here, I'm not in my colors, I'm in my mother's colors. So this is the house she designed. The door in the back is the green of her eyes and the brick is her colors and I'm wearing her color. So that's why it's so important to find our own way back to ourselves. So if you look at your upbringing, what were you influenced by? What was happening in your generation, right? What was happening Here's, here's what I was influenced by, the ideal weight, right, to look thin, uh, entering the male force, and then on the flower power. All of those were things that I had to deal with that were in my universe. And so how did I find my way back to be true to myself? So in 1969, I won the Glamour contest. And at that time, Glamour was saying, what was the contribution that you made to your campus? And I started a boutique called The Peace of Mind. And here you is, this was my day, my great moment, and they dressed me in the totally wrong colors. You see, I have much more energy in my face, and the color I'm wearing totally uh, obliterates me, basically. So I realized that color and design was really important, and I certainly was not gonna find that in the fashion industry. I wasn't gonna find that answer or myself. So you can see on the left, this is again from the magazine of Glamour, and here I am on the right where I'm finally wearing some vivid colors that represent who I am and my color. This is my color of passion. And my aha moment came with Suzanne Kiel, K. Gale. She is the person that said, the human essence, the human essence, the divine nature of the universe is in our essence in the physical form. No one else had made that claim. No one said that your physical design is where your essence lives. If they said the physical design is where your image lives. And here we're seeing, uh, this is my outfit, the bedspread that I bought in India and made an outfit all in my colors. The moment of realization. And this is me working in the, the store where I learned about dressing in harmony. And the harmony was to dress in the har harmony of myself and my own coloring. So in the 90s, again, I said this business consultant introduced me to plant medicine. And I found this Peruvian shaman who brought medicine to the United States. And in my journeys, I realized that color defined the human form, personality, and essence. And the journeys taught me that the soul's essence is the foundation of the color and design work. So it's all about uh, how our body is designed and how our energy is expressed. So at Rhythmia, and of course, the next speakers will be talking about Rhythmia, this amazing life advancement center in Costa Rica. Um, the journeys have been pivotal in every stage of my personal and business development. I encourage my staff to journey. I was introduced to my marketing mentor, Brandy Alessandra, co-founder of Rhythmia, to plant medicine. Since then, she has invited me to participate in Rhythmia and work with the shamans of integrity. I now integrate plant medicine in, with ceremonies around beauty, I consider Rhythmia to be a sacred site where transformation takes place. It's important to make a life choice from the heart and a place of authenticity, and Rhythmia provides a safe, nurturing, and inspiring sanctuary for personal growth. So you can see I'm illuminated. Notice I'm wearing warm and cool colors. The background, which is in my, the hall of my home, represents the soul of my eyes, and the black and white refers to my coloring. So if I let my, shine, my light shine, let's have your light shine too. 
So the mother nature gives life to the four seasons. So in spring, this is a life process that's given to us, you and I, to create our life. In life, she, she creates. In summer, she sustains. In autumn, she harvests herself. And in winter, she reflects. So this life process is what's living through you and I on a daily, moment-to-moment -moment basis. In spring, the light that she creates is the sunshine. Look at the, the new life force that's given to us. Everything is springing forth. We're doing the spring cleaning of our life, right? And body, mind, and spirit. And here's our spring. You can see the smile on her face, the golden glow of her coloring, and that when she dresses as a spring, her essence comes alive. In summer, that's a sustaining energy. And look at the shift in color. All the colors with the heat of the sun become softer right? The brightness of color fades color. And here's our beautiful summer sustaining the twilight energy. So the twilight energy is what emanates. It allows us to live in state of the state of grace as a summer persona. In autumn, Mother Nature harvests herself and the light shifts again. So we go from twilight now to fire. And here's the fiery light that creates momentum, fruition, and abundance. So you can see there's a life purpose in each season, and that helps you develop your life purpose as well. So it's all tied together. In winter, Mother Nature reflects on life, right? The earth is buried, right? So we get to look and say in the new year, what is the emanation? What, what life do I wanna live? What purpose do I wanna create? And here's our winter persona. The winter moonlight energy provides clarity, reflection, meditation, renewal, and holds a higher vision. So why don't we wear our own design, right? It seems obvious. We look, we're the ones that look in the mirror every day. So it's time to tell the truth. We are attracted to the opposite. We dress in a projected image. We dress like others instead of us. And we try to hide our perceived flaws, oblivious of personal design. So that's why the plant medicine is so important. Because the truth is, right, we are perfect human beings, but we have these conversations about ourselves. So the result of these conversations is we don't dress like ourselves. we send mixed messages, people misinterpret us, and we feel overwhelmed and confused, and we don't feel we're beautiful. So we're gonna create a congruent presentation because it creates trust. So in our culture, we've been taught two very, very different viewpoints. So this is what's been given to us so far. In the image industry, we learn to dress to impress, fake it till you make it, fit in, dress the part, and power dressing. So no relationship to authenticity, no relationship to the essence of the universe. Then we're saying, don't be superficial. Dress is not important. It's on the inside that counts. We need to rebel, we need to be comfortable, we need to avoid the man. So it's all about the opposites, and none of us is getting us to ourselves. So this is the image expectation. You can see on the left, she's dresses the same dress, and on the right, she totally disappears. So if you're gonna be a human being on this planet and being seen for your intrinsic value, and that's what the plant medicines teach us, to be our own intrinsic value, to trust who we are, we need to dress as our own essence. Here's another one. Two people, both of, both of this is not working. On the left, it's too stiff for her body type, and on the right, it's too soft for her body type. So we kind of err on going overboard in either direction and never have the opportunity to meet our own greatness. And here's how most people dress, right? Dressing isn't important. I can just show up any way I want. And yet you can see their life force is not alive. Their life force has left. And we don't realize that how important dressing our own life force is and relating back to mother nature and the gifts that she's given us. So here's our life force. You can see they totally are an expression of mother nature. The rust on the left is her romantic color. The pants in the middle are the lights of her eyes. The next person is wearing her beautiful red and they totally relate back to mother nature. So we've got to trust what we've been given in the universe. It's trying to tell us something. So let your harmony sing. Your design is a gift from Mother Nature. It's magnified when you repeat your own sacred geometry and design. The physical body, 
So the universe each gave us each our own design. Our sacred geometry is the secret to being in harmony with ourselves and the world around us. So when we repeat our unique design, it creates balance and alignment. So look at the sacred design of the universe. Where there is matter, there is geometry. And we all know this. And here it is now showing it in the body, right? In the face and the hands and in the faith in the structure of the whole body is there is this amazing sacred geometry that we need to learn about for ourselves so we can be effective and we can be related. There's seven principles of design that we recognize in Mother Nature. So now we're going to get very specific. Like, what is this all about? How does this relate to me? So we've got to learn these principles and apply them in the way that we dress so there's congruency, clarity, effective communication, and also a relationship back to the universe so that what you see is what you get. So shift happens when you dress in your personal design. Wearing your own design is a powerful and persuasive communication tool without saying a word. So here is our design, you know, no life force. You can't even see who he is. Now look at here who he really is. Look at the angle of the collar mirroring the angle of his jawline. The color combinations, you see his face. So light, energy, essence, and form are what create us in physical reality. And we're learning to create our own design pattern. Um, beautiful outfit, but totally unrelated to her. Now watch her come alive in the form. Look at, the, again, the jawline, the asymmetry of her face is reflected in the asymmetry of what she's wearing. And the color of her hair is reflected in the fur, right? It's so simple, we just have to look back at ourselves and know that the universe has honored us. And here, a beautiful outfit, I know she spent hundreds of dollars on this, totally disappears. It's a designer outfit, and look at her, in her shade of red, look at the pendant she's wearing and how it mirrors the width of her face, right? It's all in front of us, all ready for us. She wanted to be this season, but you can see her beauty, her femininity is totally lost. And look here, now she's wearing versions of her hair color. So it takes this amazing uh, facility to fall in love with ourselves and know that the universe created us in perfect form. And here, uh, beautiful Mia, totally lost in this outfit, a normal outfit that we wear. Look at her wearing her skin tone. Uh, look at the repetition of the accessories, bring in her eye color. The brown of her hair is repeated in her leggings. So that's what we talk about congruency. Beautiful Karen, this heavy dress is totally lost. Beautiful shape, but we don't even see her face. And now let's look at her. Totally alive in a power color that she loves to wear. And she's a yoga teacher, right? And then you'll notice the necklace repeats her hair. An angel, a beautiful outfit that has nothing to do with her. And now look at the vitality she's going to emanate, right? Because she's recognizing her coloring, uh, what the universe has given her. So it's definitely knowing that everything is in its perfect form, in its perfect design, in its perfect energy. And this um, stunning man, totally lost in his color, it's almost very acidic. He disappears. So realizing that color and form and essence are what really put us into physical form. And when we recreate it, it relates us back to the universe. And that's how we experience our harmony. And here, a beautiful outfit, but totally obscures her. So you see the energy that comes alive in these people. Um, it's, and look at even the wood tone is picking up her skin tone. So we are directly related to the universe in our color and design. And here, um, again, a beautiful outfit, but very strong. And you see her softness in her face. And now Kim is going to really show up. She's wearing her shade of red. And all of her jewelry matches her eyes. Matching the universe up to ourselves. Again, everybody says that black and white works. But on Agatha, she disappears. And now we're going to see her again. Uh, beautiful complexity, honoring her coloring, honoring her design honoring the abundance of the universe as an autumn. So each season of the year, here's our black and white. Linda again is gone, disappeared. And here she is showing up 
in the lighter value of our hair color. So ladies, it's falling in love with our hair color, and men, the hair, uh, a hair color is the foundation of what we wear. And here's Holly, um, effervescent, but lost in this color family, kind of brings her down. Here she is wearing her shade of red and her power color in the necklace. So it's all about the vitality, um, honoring what, what Mother Nature gave us and recreating it and saying, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm perfect the way I am. Here we have a nun, this is her favorite color. Again, it obscures the loveliness of her, uh, her uh, coloring. And here she is wearing her eye color in her shade of red, which is in the beautiful soft magenta family instead of orange. So it's, ladies and gentlemen, it's about showing up in the world. Your congruent presentation creates trust. By following our step-by-step -step program, you create authentic communication, self-expression, and a powerful presence. So we're gonna look at mind, perception, body, our unique design, spirit, mother nature, all of those three are what come together to create authentic design. Revealing your own unique beauty requires soul work, a commitment to yourself. Otherwise, we keep making the same mistakes over and over and over again. So this is a, a manifesto that I created. I commit to recognizing my beauty. So we have to offset all the, the negativity about ourselves. So the universe has given us this language. I commit to my beauty. I reframe negative statements about myself. I have the perfect figure instead of I don't like my figure. I see myself as Mother Nature's perfect, perfect creation. I acknowledge I'm beautiful in my own way. My size, shape, and color honor my uniqueness. My only ideal beauty is the beauty that Mother Nature gave me. I let go of my culture's delusion of beauty and celebrate my beauty, and I do not criticize myself or judge others. So this is my signature. I invite you to do the same so we can create a new paradigm and move from image that the culture has given us to authenticity which is what the universe has given us. So the concerns for most people are, what's my personal style? How do I accessorize? How do I put an outfit together so that I really feel like myself, so that I really feel this connection? So we're gonna look at these seven principles a little bit more. So the seven principles are contrast, that you can see the black and white that I'm wearing is the contrast between my hair, skin, and eyes. Texture, the amount of texture and the embroidery that I have on. Complexity, the amount of design I'm wearing, creates drama for me. Proportion and scale, the actual size of the design that I'm wearing mirrors my facial features. Geometry, the actual shapes. Again, the, the stripe and the width of the stripe uh, mirror me. Visual weight, the actual weight of everything that I'm wearing is my visual weight of my hair, skin, and features. And the print design, all the themes of the prints are what work for me to express my essence. So contrast, the state of being strikingly different from something else, typically something in juxtaposition or close association. If your colors are too bright, it's hard to see you. If they are too blended, you become invisible. Choose the contrast that is native to you. So you'll see on the left, the black and white, which is typical in our culture to be working for everybody, does not work. And on the right, her black and white reflects the, the contrast between her, her hair, skin, and eyes. So this is what we teach you in the modules. And here, the same person, Blake Lively, you'll see even if she brings in her hair color, right, how we connect with her. It's all about connecting. The universe can't connect with you if you don't connect with yourself. So look in the mirror, compare your hair to your skin. Do you have light hair, uh, hair, skin, and eyes? Do you have medium or do you have high contrast? So which are you? So low, medium, and high. We show it right in front of you. You can take a selfie and put it on the screen and just show it and figure out what you are. So texture is the next principle. The feel, appearance, and consistency of a surface or a substance. Texture creates interest, harmony, and keeps the eye moving, but most importantly, it keeps us interested in you. So it's learning to recreate your own texture. So you'll see on the left, there's too much rugged texture. We lose the sensitivity of her face. And on the right, 
the, the texture mirrors the texture of her face and her hair and her features. It's just right, so we go right to her face. Here, too smooth texture, and then the rugged texture on the right. Here we have the curly hair, which is a lot of texture, the straight hair, which is smooth, and the wavy, which is medium texture. So complexity is the third one. This is important to learn how to, the amount that we are gonna dress, the amount of design when we buy a car, the amount of design when we decorate a home. Complexity is the state or quality of being intricate or complicated. Complexity refers to the amount of design that someone can wear. Complexity is created by the design of your hair, the pigment on variation of your skin, and the size of your features. In addition, complexity takes personal energy into consideration. How we walk, are we outwardly expressive, or are we more introverted? See here we're showing you the complexity, very smooth and even tone, variation in skin tone, and freckled skin. You can see it's too busy on the left, we don't even see her face, and on the right, the, it's balanced with her face and her hair. Complexity, we see the simple design on the left mirrors the smoothness of his face, and on the right, the complexity of his hair and the design of his face is repeated in the design of the jacket. Proportion and scale, a part, share, or number considered in comparative relation to a whole. Proportion and scale refers to the size of your face in relation to your height and the size of your features in relation to your face. Do you have a small, medium, or large face for your height? What size features do you have? The scale determines our choice of eyewear, necklaces, necklines, rings, watches, handbags, scarves, belts, buckles, and prints. So here we see on the left, she has a small face for her height. In the middle, we have the medium large, and on the right, we have the large face. So we want to dress that proportion and scale in the clothes we wear, so we are in proportion and scale with what the universe has given us. And here we have large scale. Variation in features, sizes, requires a variation in print design. The curved design of the type repeats the curve of his face and the shapes and range from small to large. And here we have the handbag on the left overpowers her face, and on the right, the size of the handbag is in scale with her face. And on the left, the a plaid is too large if you look between the orange lines, and on the right, between the brown lines, mirrors her between the brow and her mouth. So there's an amazing geometry to our body, right, that the world has given us, and that's what we have to learn to be effective communicators. Geometry, the branch of mathematics concerned with the properties in relation to points, lines, surface, solids, and higher dimension and analogs. The shape and relative arrangement of the parts of something. When you repeat, not compete, with the geometric shapes found in your face, you express a fascinating design pattern that you were born with. So look at all the different shapes of our face, right, our sacred geometry, so we're looking at the shapes of the face, the eyebrows, and the eyes. And when we learn what our shapes are, we repeat that, and that becomes our sacred design. So you can see the eyeglasses. Here it mirrors her brow on the left, and is the right weight for her. And on the right, they overpower her face, and the shape competes with her oval face. So oval equals oval, right? That's our sacred geometry. Um, here we have on the right on the right hand side the print is way too angular We don't even see her face and on the left. It's a yes We look at her hair. We look at her face and her features because the geometry is matching up to her Visual weight there are two things that have visual weight There's a psychology to heaviness in things we see the general guidelines are a light color is lighter um, dark is heavier smooth texture is lighter Lots of texture is heavier, larger looks heavier, high contrast is heavier, complexity is heavier, and actual heavy is heavier. So you can see this in the eyeglasses on the left hand side, they're the perfect weight for her hair, and on the right, they totally overpower her. And on the left, the necklace is beautiful, but it's not strong enough, and on the right, it's too heavy for her. Here are the watches. All of us put a lot of money into, into our watches, guys. So we have light, medium, and heavy. 
So we want it to match the visual weight of your hair, skin, and features. The print design, text, images, or design, especially in reference to size, form, or style. Effective print design is finding the right theme or print to express your personality as well as the geometry and spacing that works for you. This principle implements all the previous six principles. Look at the spacing of our features, right? The spacing of the forehead, the brow to the mouth, and the chin. So whenever you're buying the spacing of a print, uh, you're looking for this kind of spacing that you can actually measure for yourself. And you look here on the right, it's uh, left, it's totally overpowering. And on the right, it's much better. It's still too big for her face, but it's much better. We're showing you the relation of things beginning to work. And here, the personality, both women have an exotic kind of romantic quality. On the left, it's exotic as the print is. And on the, on the right hand side, it's almost too flowery for her. So we lose her impact. The print selection, the plaid repeats the squareness of her jaw. The color of her hair is in proportion to her face. And on the right, the plaid is way too large. If you look between the black lines, her face is too small. So that geometry is lost. When we focus on Mother Nature's design, instead of being distracted by fashion and image, we are authentic. For the past 35 years, I've worked exclusively with clients of one-to-one -one or in groups in Los Angeles. Now, wherever you are, I'm bringing this information to you so that you can recognize and tap into your secret power. You're going to be saving time and money. You'll be an effective communicator. You'll be able to create trust and harmony. You'll be seen and show up powerfully in the world. You'll become magnetic, transform relationships, manifest your ideal career, family, friends, and personal brand, release what doesn't work, and love and embrace your authentic beauty. So this is what you'll receive in these modules that we're offering you at the end of this presentation. All of these bonuses, the seven uh, module, course module, the do's and don'ts. And you'll see that you learned a lot by comparison and before and afters. You're going to have insights into your whole family because this includes insights from men, women, and children. There's study and worksheets, checklists, uh, editing, practice guidelines. Uh, how to brand yourself, insights into choosing gifts, uh, online content, and all the, of these bonuses so you start understanding the psychology of this work and how to dress so that you're in tune with yourself and what the universe has given you. So my mission is to help you see your perfect and unique design that you've been given, love what Mother Nature gave you, be seen in the world for who you truly are, save time and money, and trust and create the harmony that you want. This is used by so many people. So if you are any of these things, uh, people have used my work to be effective, I said, in the world, and really teaching that when you're dressed in your own design pattern, you're representing the, de the design that the universe is giving you. So what it creates to other people is you're giving your harmony to them. You're giving your balance, your alignment, your integrity. And here is Brandy, the next speaker. You can see the integrity of her design, uh, what she's wearing, and the simplicity of the design matches her geometry and her energy. And here's another totally opposite presentation on Roxana. You'll see she's wearing her skin tone. The lace matches the texture of her hair and all of her website. And the wisdom of the website has come from studying with our sacred design. And here she is in her studio wearing her authentic design, wearing her hair color. Everything is matched up to her. So everything that she is representing to the world is authentic to her. And she's honoring what the universe gave her. And here's her husband with the beautiful um, artwork that he creates. He's a concept designer, educator. This is his website, totally matching him. And here they are together. You can see um, the design of all the colors are wearing. You can see if they wore black and white, they would totally disappear. And here's Mia, the complexity of her website that I talked about matches the design of her hair and her personality. So it's all about being true to her. Look at the shape of her earrings and how they match the shape of her face. 
So in a few minutes, you can get dressed and be effective in the world. Here's Christopher. Um, I helped him dress in a way that's both harmonious and strong, which is important for his profession as a healer. And the guarantee that you'll be getting, you'll learn the seven principles of design. You'll learn to create confidence and trust in who you are. Others will be inspired by you. You'll be, understand your personal branding in a new way. You'll understand why some things in your closet and home don't work. 